Welcome to the tutorial on effective introductions. The introduction of an essay is often the most difficult for students to write. Students get stuck writing their introductions because they think it is the first paragraph that they should write in their paper. That thinking is incorrect. Although the introduction paragraph is the first paragraph of the essay, it should be one of the last paragraphs that students write for their essays. Why, you ask? How can you introduce something that you do not know? If the body of the essay is not written, what exactly are you introducing? Writing essays is not necessarily a linear activity, and students should rethink how their essays should be built. If you have a thesis and an outline, you should begin writing your body paragraphs first. Once you have a better idea about what the content of the essay is, you can start building your introduction. Introductions are just that. They are introducing the essay topic. One important feature of the introduction is the thesis statement. Your thesis statement should be a part of the introduction and the type of the essay that you are writing will determine where the thesis should go. The type of essay that you are writing should determine the introduction strategy that you want to use. Let's begin by discussing some effective introduction strategies. The first strategy for effective introductions is the narrative introduction. One way to capture your audience's attention is to draw them in with a narrative introduction. Storytelling has a familiar pattern and readers can be drawn into that pattern. Opening your essay with a strategic anecdote about your topic can pique the interest of your readers. They will want to continue reading well past your thesis. Narrative introductions also allow you to establish credibility, ethos, about a subject. If you have a personal story to tell, your reader will be more inclined to believe your position as the paper progresses. This type of introduction strategy can be used for almost all types of essays. A second strategy for introductions is to offer background information. Another way to capture your audience's attention is to offer them sufficient background information. Set up your essay by introducing key facts and background information about your topic. That way, once your thesis is introduced, you can proceed with your body paragraphs and prove your thesis. The third way that you can use for your introduction is to connect with the audience's interests or values. This introduction strategy works best when you are arguing a thesis with an audience that is hostile to your position. If you strive to find common ground on a topic, your audience may receive your argument better. Thus, you might not persuade them entirely, but they will see your point and respect it. It is critical that you connect your thesis to whatever strategy you use for your introduction. Offering one or two segue sentences to connect that strategy to your thesis statement in the introduction will make that paragraph flow best. Writers should always keep their audience in mind. For example, naming all the points of your essay in an introduction might have worked in high school. However, that strategy offers no insight for your audience. Strive to create an interesting introduction so your audience feels compelled to keep reading.